Thank you. Our next speaker is Anshi Bahat. In an age where digital information cascades unceasingly into the reservoirs of our collective consciousness, we, the users of the modern world, find ourselves ensnared in a paradox of plenty. Artificial intelligence, with its unrelenting capabilities, serves as a steward of this era, churning out news articles and social media posts at an unprecedented pace. <sighs> Did that introduction sound a little bit stuffy? Did it sound a little bit inhuman? Yep, you guessed it. It was written by ChatGPT, an AI-powered chatbot. So you know I use ChatGPT. And I'm pretty sure you've used ChatGPT before, too. I mean, it's taken the world by storm. And one of the industries that use it the most are those who work in content creation for social media platforms and news outlets. Traditionally, journalists take their time to create a carefully written and thoughtful article, taking a minimum of a full day to upwards of six months for a major feature piece. However, when given all the necessary details, artificial intelligence chatbots like ChatGPT can churn out an article in under 30 seconds that is easy to read and could contain everything that the reader would need to know. With such an increase of efficiency, it is only obvious that news outlets have begun harnessing this technology. Some websites, such as the Associated Press, have begun using AI to do more backside work, such as research, in order to help their journalists be more efficient in their article creation. However, some news websites have begun opting to completely cut out the middleman and have artificial intelligence be the sole creator of their media, such as Daily Business Post or MarketNewsReports.com. This has created an oversaturation of news about anything and everything on the internet. Now, this information may not concern some of you, because I mean, I don't know about you, but I've been relying less on traditional news outlets to get my information, and instead, have been learning a lot more from videos that pop up on my TikTok For You page or infographics that show up on my discovery page on Instagram. However, these platforms are also not free from artificial intelligence. Most content creators work meticulously to create three or four videos or posts a day that work in accordance to the algorithm in order to reach more viewers. However, accounts that use artificial intelligence to create their content post upwards of 100 times a day and have the liability to be able to just see what sticks. This has created a problem in social media. And it is especially a big problem in those accounts that are spreading news. Because it is very easy to program an AI to create a new video or a new post every single time it stumbles upon a new news article. So whether you get your news more traditionally from websites on Google, or whether it's through your favorite social media platforms, you are being exposed to the oversaturation of news. Every single thing that happens every second of every day is being documented on these platforms. In fact, people today have more knowledge about what's going on around the world than people have ever had before. With our phones constantly buzzing with notifications about breaking news, and our social media algorithms constantly feeding us more and more posts and videos about current events, news, especially those that feature tragedies, are inescapable. When you search up gun violence death pictures on Google, you are met with literally 159 million results with one of the first websites being Getty Images, with a website titled 24,786 Gun Violence Pictures. This, to me, is just crazy. I mean, what could somebody possibly need to do with this, this many images of violence? Now, one could make the argument that seeing more images of violence can lead to more empathy about these kinds of situations. However, this just isn't the case. In fact, when looking at college classroom discussions, as the years have gone by, students have become less and less affected and have less and less empathy about conversations in violence, especially gun violence. In 2021, a professor in North Carolina stated that his students had little to no reaction when he mentioned a recent local mass shooting. We, as a society, just do not care about death anymore. With so many news articles, so many social media posts, every death to us has just become a statistic. 
We no longer view it as a person who had a life, who had kids, who had a spouse, but rather just something that shows up on our phone or our computer that sucks, but it doesn't really affect us. This horrifying reality has led to record low levels of empathy, especially in light of recent global events, such as the conflict in the Middle East and the war in Russia and Ukraine. We, as a society, must take advantage of our media consumption habits, understand that every post we make, every comment we write, and everything that we like on social media has some level of power. So let's use this power to create a more compassionate and empathetic society by honoring those who have been victims of tragedy and reclaiming our own humanity. Together, even in such a highly digital world, we can work to create a future where media serves to inform and unite, rather than desensitize and divide. Thank you. Thanks to our amazing speaker, Anshi.